today we are going to see the send email smart shape so when you click on add a step you need to go to more automation select the send email smart shape then a step will be added in the flow a send email smart shape will be added but in the cache designer landing page a step with a email shape will be added so when you click on that step on the right side pane you can select to which participant you want to send say if you have an email address we can select email address in the in the previous steps in the previous stages in the previous user interface screens have a property in the ui to capture the email address of the customer you reference that property here so that email will be sent to that email address or you can use a field as well field means property currently we are not getting any property because none of the properties are defined designed actually you can also add multiple recipients say you want to send to multiple email address or one to email address and one to participant like that so coming to user reference it is like create operator or the resolved by user these are the user references user references are generally the operators present in the pega system that is operator id records create to operator means the person who has created this case resolved means the person who has resolved this case if you see create operator and update operator under account so account is a data type there is a separate data class for account account is a data object so whoever adds or deletes a row you know for that data type so this create operator and update operator columns will be present in that account data class and these correspond to them likewise for each of the data object we have say similar properties if you select a participant you can select to which participant you want to send the email so you can go to the settings with tab go to the participants you can see these are the participants present in our case so we have only added them the role ha uh, has user account with this application no customer role doesn't have any uh, user account with this application because customer maybe will be interacting through the phone call to the csr in this application owner has a role yes create participant automatically when the query starts so if you see interested these are the interested roles there will be different roles you can also see that in the dev studio so if you see edit work parties data party person class it means the customer and interested data party operator is the owner current operator so if you can we can click on this open icon to click check the data transform what they are doing in the inside the data transform for each party they will they will set some parameters for example py work party ui generally contains the user identifier px requested dot py user identifier means the csr representative likewise if you see the new party data transform so the these are containing only default values nothing is set because they are from the pega program rule set likewise this will be also from the pega program rule set but for model purpose they have set these values so now if you want to go to dev studio you can click this back to pega app studio from dev studio if you want to switch you can click this that is that will be visible only when you are going from app studio to dev studio so if you see the case for example this is a case i have run so i will show you which stage it is in the balance transfer case type in the alternate stage or the rejected stage there is a stage called reason for rejection approval rejection so after identifying the reason for rejection we are keeping in the work queue of csr once csr picks from it we are sending rejection email so we are sending to participant who is the owner this is a, you can enter your subject here you can compose so here you can write your text likewise if you see here when you click on compose you will get 
clear so and so this is the reason reason for reaction so in this this is called correspondence template so whatever you add here internally a correspondence template will be created uh, in the dev studio so if you want to insert any properties you can click this icon sometimes this icon will not be visible in such cases you have to log off and log in back so insert property say you want to insert first name inside the account data class so you click on account and once you click on account you can see the list of properties available so you can add first name like this there is another way to add first name so you click on insert property here you type first press enter then you will get first name and it is inside the account data model directly click on first name it will come as dot account dot first name both are same so if you, this is used for inserting properties say you want to highlight the names in bold and underline you can click like this so say for example in this correspondence template if you want to insert a link so that the user from his mobile app or the browser can directly click on the link to open the work object that such cases might come in your application then click on work link link to current case so then work link dot email will be created this is a correspondence fragment name is work link 